Hello friends. Yesterday I shared a video showing uh, based uh, show the report based on the fiscal period fiscal month is closed. Uh, if the fiscal month is not closed then don't show the data for that month only before that and as soon as the fiscal month is closed then show the data for the month. A user reached out to me and asked that they don't want the solution based on the uh, fiscal month uh, closed or not but they want based on the fifth business day. For example if we are in January uh, today and if the fifth business day in January is 7th of January um, excluding Saturday and Sunday so if we are in the first week of January let's say sec if, for example if we are, were on the 2nd of January don't show January data until we hit the fifth business day. For example in February 2022 the fifth business day is again on 7th of February so even we have a February data in the system and we should not show the data until we hit the 7th of February. If we are on 2nd February, 3rd February, 4th February, it will not show the data. But as soon as we hit the 5th business day of the month, based on today's date, then we show the data for that month. The solution which I provided before, uh, yesterday's video, uh, we will use that and create a fifth business day in our day table uh, we will go through that and then we will use that to calculate the month offset and then the everything from there should be pretty straightforward the link for the yesterday's video is in the description and this one is a part two of that let's get to power bi and take a look so first we will add a, a business day like fifth business day tag a date which is the fifth business day in that month uh, excluding Saturday and Sunday so that's what the logic is um, let's add a column in our date table call it a if whatever we want to call it let's say business day or fifth business day it does not matter let's say what is our target business day we just store it in like fifth we want it and what we will do here is um, let's uh, I'm gonna store current month because it is based on each month because the month over month this is going to change what is going to the um, uh, fifth business day so let's uh, calendar month that is a month year uh, column and uh, what we're going to do here is so we will um, first of all do the running total on the days excluding the weekends uh, I already have a column in my date table where it is if the weekday is Saturday or Sunday it the value is zero if the weekday is um, Not Saturday and Sunday the value is one so we can use that to calculate our running total and to find out um, um, Where What becomes the fifth day uh, business day of the month? So what we will do is calculate sum max so we're going to iterate over uh, our remove any filter on calendar table so we will use date calendar date is less than equal to max of calendar date and our calendar sorry and our calendar calendar month is the one the month on the row uh, I will show you what does this means so that's our filter and then what we're going to do is we're going to sum up uh, our weekend uh, I think that's what I call it calendar weekend we can double check is weekend okay 
and this should give us the running total by month let's take a look what does this column uh, business stay in the and also I'm going to put week and column here as well just to showcase and also I'm going to put the week name day of week I think that's called just to clarify everything yeah okay perfect so what we have here is uh, the weekend is weekend is um, one node zero uh, if it's a zero it's a weekend uh, it should be other way around anyhow so zero means this is a weekend one means it's not a weekend so if you look at the business day uh, 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 column right now so this is on if we are in january so friday is the first and the Saturday, Sunday, the total remains the same because we are doing a running total on that. And Monday becomes second and Tuesday becomes third and fourth and so forth, so on. So there is 20, basically there is 21 uh, business days, excluding Saturday and Sunday in, in January 20, uh, 2010. And when we move to February 2010, uh, so fifth business day is going to be Friday, which is will be February 5th. In January the fifth business day is in January 7th. Uh, now, since we have this running total, this should be pretty straightforward from here. What we can do is, uh, let's go back to our calculated column, business day. And we can now, instead of running day of the month, we can say, if day of the month is equal to target business day or whatever we, we want to call this is the fifth or if I want seventh as the, my business day then the value should change to seventh so target business day then it is one otherwise zero so basically now we are tagging what day is um, the uh, the one is the fifth business day but I actually I should leave it blank and just return one so that we can see uh, it's much easier otherwise uh, there will be one and zero values so, okay, here we are. And uh, now you will see uh, in January 2010, the fifth business day is uh, January 7th. So this is tagged as a one, rest is blank. In February, it is, um, okay, because the running total is a five, 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 because this is zero. I think there's one more condition I need to add with that calculated column. The day of the month is target business day and uh, is weekend is equal to one. Only in case of if it's a working day, then we want this flag. If it's a, there's no, no point have tagged this as on the weekends as well. I guess that's why in February we saw it on Saturday and Sunday because the running total was five uh, for all those three days. Uh, so let's double check again. So February, now we see the Friday is the fifth business day. Basically in each month, uh, there should be only one uh, date which will have this flag. Uh, it can't be more than one. So let's move to March. So again, March 5th is the fifth business day which falls on Friday and in April it's on Wednesday uh, if we just quickly double check Thursday is the April 1st first business day second business day is a Friday Monday is the third business day excluding Saturday and Sunday Tuesday is the fourth business day and Wednesday turned out to the fifth business day so this business day logic is working as expected so what we need to do now um, the month offset um, column which I created in yesterday's video we will tweak that column based on the business day instead of the uh, closed period end or the last um, closed period end which I used in the previous video so let's get to that uh, uh, maybe add in another uh, column here which we'll call month and offset based on business day let's do that okay and let's uh, add new column here now we have a fifth business day uh, marked for each month 
we can based on today's date we can calculate what is the most recent um, uh, business day is fifth business day is to to calculate the offset so let's uh, let's calculate the offset here uh, which we we uh, for the use to uh, visualize uh, to filter the data so let's call it month offset based on business day I will store today in a variable uh, the reason behind that is then I can change the value of as of date just to test how it is working and then what we will do is we need to get the most recent fifth business day based on or before uh, today in this case as of date so what we can um, use here is most uh, recent business day date so that should be pretty straightforward we will say calculate max get our date and then we will say filter our calendar and remove any filter on date basically get all the dates and calendar date is less than equal to uh, as of date which is uh, means today and then also because uh, we want today's 22nd of January if if I don't if I just use this it will give me um, uh, 22nd of January from my table because it's as of today less than equal to what I need is another condition here where calendar uh, our business day flag uh, whatever uh, business day is equal to one because that tells us is that is the one business days fifth business days let's return this date this should be a January 7th 2022 that is the fifth business day uh, based on today so let's see for all the date all the months all the dates we should get um, 7th of January 2022 as as the um, record so let's take a look we drop this uh, new column we added month offset based on business day so uh, yeah as you can see um, we are in sorry making a little bit so we are getting 7th January 2022 so today I'm doing video on 27th of January 2022 so the most recent business day based on today is the 7th of January 2022 let's uh, let's uh, check this just in case um, uh, to make sure the logic is working so instead of today um, which will be the actual solution but let's we pass our own date let's say today is a January 3rd so what will be the most recent date will be the December 2022 whatever that falls on so that is again uh, 7th of December 2021 so this is working as expected now from here onward it's pretty straightforward we can calculate the offset here so our uh, most recent business date and then calendar date Uh, we want month so now we will find out based on the fifth business day as of today what is the offset which then further we use to filter the visualization so well so as you can see if today today was a a third of january our um, December becomes our offset because we don't want to see January's data because we still did not hit the 5th of January that is what the ask is so if we go back to our our calculation let's say it is not a 3rd of January it is actually today uh, since we already own or after 5th business day of January 2022 and uh, now January will be zero so now if a if you watched my yesterday video uh, you should then now we can use this um, month offset based on the business day and we can filter the page where uh, is less than equal to zero so that it only shows uh, uh, 
data for the month where we already in the in the fifth business day or whatever the business day you want to use in your uh, in your reporting or your logic i hope you find this video useful uh, because for in the financial reporting it is very important how, you know the business days uh, when the books get closed these two videos uh, showcase two different scenarios where the actually fiscal period is closed then only show the data in this case uh, only show the data when we hit the uh, business day which is could be fifth or um, third or it could be seventh we just need to change the calculation in the uh, business day uh, uh, flag where we mark it as whether this is a business day or not uh, first fifth business day or not uh, stay tuned do subscribe to my channel until next video have a good day bye for now